Hey everybody, good morning. Today is Tuesday morning, got an awesome episode. We're gonna be working on the Branson 5520C tractor today. We're gonna to be hooking up a couple implements and we're gonna be disconnecting the backhoe. So come along with us. Okay, so uh, we're down here at the work site now and we're gonna take the tractor, take the backhoe off. We're gonna put that over yonder over there and then we're gonna hook up the box blade that's behind me. So uh, stick with us. So I decided to do a little voiceover here to make it a little bit easier um, and you could hear me better. This is our new Branson 5520C. Uh, this is, came from Penne Farm Supply here in Tennessee. Uh, we did purchase it with the backhoe. This is the 7.5 foot backhoe with the 16 inch bucket. Uh, we did also get a 24 inch bucket for it as well. We have not got it in yet. Um, we also have teeth coming in for the front bucket. The tires on this tractor are filled. Uh, here they use uh, methanol in the tires uh, to fill those. They didn't charge us for that either. Um, around the side here, uh, you can see they have the uh, reflective triangles already on that and on the backhoe. So if you wanted to take it on the road or needed to, uh, you're set up with that. The rear brake lights and everything do work. Um, I believe it also has turn signals. Now one of the things that I really loved about this tractor is you'll notice there's doors on both sides. Amazing, amazing, amazing. A lot of other tractors look like they have two doors, but only one opens. So inside the cab, uh, we have a great stereo system, which I really don't use right now because uh, I'm trying to listen to the tractor. This is a shuttle shift model. Uh, it is four wheel drive and right there is the ranges uh, has four ranges and four speeds so so that is uh, 4 8 12 16 speeds total again this is not a power shuttle shift this is a regular shuttle shift now this tractor itself can lift 2700 pounds so that is a good amount uh, that this thing can put up in the air so you just got to be careful with it we also did get it with the grapple and the three function valve on the front uh, so you'll see that uh, in there as well so we're gonna get this thing going we're gonna get it over there and get this uh, backhoe off so let's see how it goes Okay, so now I've got to get underneath of the uh, tractor. There's two pins in the front that we got to disconnect, so we'll see how hard they are. Here. Right up in there. <sighs> I'm the four men over here. So we had these uh, two storms back to back, which had a lot of flooding here in uh, Knoxville. But I just found all this runoff stuff. 
So I cleared out this little creek that goes into the river slash lake. All that was blocked it. It's nice and clear now. We're supposed to be getting another storm tomorrow all day, rain, thunderstorms, so I wanted to make sure I cleared this out so tomorrow I don't get even more flooded because when it floods it backs up into the other areas. So. Right now, I'm installing the three-point hitch system since we took off the backhoe, and uh, once this is done, we'll be able to hook up the box plate, so let's get going. Instead of using these bolts, I'm going to see if I can get some pins to do the same thing as this bolt. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, post them in the comments. Box blade on. This is kind of where we want to put our carport for storing uh, cover for the tractor, uh, the other implements that we have here, and the trailers. So it's coming along.
sitting here in the sun, pretending like I see my orchard right here, my food forest. I think it would be pretty cool. Got my companion over here. Yeah, she does everything with me. level for the rocks and the bleh, take. Once we get this all level, we can um, call a company to come deliver the rocks. They'll come the next day um, to deliver it, and then we'll use the box blade to level it back out. All right, so we're going to get some work done now. Grandpa wants to see me work. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so it's probably about three, two, three o'clock in the afternoon now. Uh, Nicole's already gone up, had lunch, came back. Uh, I did not. I'm still here working on this. So we've got it pretty much flattened out now. Um, we're gonna put a carport back here. So the one thing I did like about this tractor that not many other tractors have was this door opens. Now people are gonna say, well, you can't get in this way, but the key's right here. So if I need to shut this off or move this joystick, I can do that. And a lot of other brands, this door doesn't open. So here's a quick view of the PTO. This is for the regen and your hazards. I have two sets of rear remotes. I believe one is detented, one's not. So it does not have air ride seat, but it does have an adjustable seat, which is right here. Um, you can move it forward and back. The goofy thing is they put a gauge under here, but you can't see it when you're actually sitting on the seat, which is when you need to adjust that. So uh, it actually has four speeds. It has four ranges, which are right over here. Let's get up in the cab. Okay, so we have four ranges right here, A, B, C, and D. Have our emergency brake in the back. This is for the rear hydraulic uh, three-point lift. Again, this is your speed. This right here is to lock your diff. Uh, you have your PTO. It has a economy PTO and regular. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a four-wheel drive, and this is the PTO right here. And then up here, this is the shuttle shift, so you have your forward reverse right there. Your dual brakes, throttle, and this is also an adjustable throttle right here. So again, this is the Branson 5520C. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, and tick the little bell. My wife here did most of the video today, so we're going to thank her. Yeah. How was it today out there? Nice. It was nice. hot, wasn't it? Yeah. I was in the air conditioning. I hope everybody enjoyed the Branson tractor. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, us trying to get everything disconnected and connected. Again, this was our first time, so you learned with us. Thanks again. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye.